We're doing another Just Ranching in Lubbock, Texas with Mr. Bryce Chapman. Everybody loved how he taught us how to uh, crimp them and chew horses. Today's going to teach us how to uh, do some trick roping. And uh, then he's going to go do some real roping at a team roping. Turn, them, turn and burn? Isn't well, that what you guys, team roper, say? I, I, no, it, it's it's better to burn out than fade away. That's the, uh, that's the tripping. That's okay. the tripping slogan. And I, team roping is just... Mm, my partner missed, my other partner missed. That's kind of how that one goes. And but if you have a horse that's trained by DB. Oh yeah, you're Fritz. Be, you're gonna win, you're gonna be happy in back. And then what Just a quick lesson. A quick lesson. How to get started, like maybe with the butterfly. Okay, so quick lesson with the butterfly here. Okay. So, something I can, I can, or not me, you know, because I, I know how, but like anybody else can watch a thousand times. Okay. Here's how. Now give the, us the fundamentals. The fundamentals. The basic, the basic fundamentals of trick roping and spinning a rope is this loop is the same loop. You invert it, you get it horizontal, you, you make it go. Uh, and spinning frontwards and backwards, but the basic spin, you can a person can start off with the rope holding it just like this close. This is just a calf rope, and you just start rocking your hand back and forth, and back and forth, and then you slide your this hand right here, my left hand will start sliding, sliding back, and I use my right hand to make my coals go over. I keep feeding my rope slowly, 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 feeding it, rolling your coals forward. And then it loop gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you can just drop it like that if you want to. <laughs> and then you can just drop it like that if you exactly. want to. Exactly, that's exactly right. So what what do you mean it's it's the same if the loop's like flat up and down? Yeah. See this is your basic loop, okay? So even a loop that you're throwing, this loop is is doing is, is in a motion. So to spin a rope when you're spinning it. It's a little bit different because the centrifugal force of your loop binds the rubber or the rawhide burner and it binds the, the rope. So the so it stops the 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 loop from sliding, feeding, closing up, or feeding too much. And that's how you, you use your hand to slide your hand up the rope or slide your hand down the rope, like you're roping calves. You you, you if you get your slack too close, your 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 spoke too close or your slack too close to your coils, you're too tight. So to pull it out, you, you, you use your other hand to pull it out. To add it, you pull it back, and then your hands get close together. And you can't really throw it very good when you're reaching like this. So if, you're, if you have a little bit of a reach with, the, with this much of a, a, a space in between your, your rope and your coils, your loop and your coils, you can, you can guide it with your other hand, your opposite hand. Even though you're riding, sometimes you have to learn how to stop it stop your swinging your loop at a certain point but spinning a rope when you're spinning it this this loop right here is still circus is is in a circle so that that loop is the same thing spinning if you're spinning it to keep it open as the same one it's this side it's just smaller so to make it do the same thing to invert it to throw it up and over you just have to guide it and then let it catch itself and then Use your coils on your right, your other hand. Slide your hand up your rope. Feed your rope, and then when it gets bigger, then you can go into a double, a triple spin, or just spin it to the side until your rope spins all the way out, and then it goes all the way over you. Like so, this. so to keep it from like closing up on you, you're 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 loosening your your uh, your left hand and you're feeding it with your right hand. Correct. So it's kind of a, yes. a loose grip. Right. You don't. You, you're not supposed to just put a death grip like a like in the bull riding you, you have to hold it tighter if if you're right if you're roping your hand has to be able to to have the, the capacity to to move to be flexible to move so so like I don't grip this rope real tight even when I'm spinning it okay so watch my hand it's open see it's, I, I can slide it I can slide uh. it slide it and my right hand is doing some more work on the other side and then it's like this you both hands are constantly moving. Both hands. 
and then when, it, when you're going to call it, watch my, watch my opposite hand. I take the slack out with my left. I unfeed it with whoops, my left hand. And it's still spinning, and you can still keep spinning and you can pull your rope. I'll, I can do it a little better. Okay, so you're spinning your rope, and you get it really, really big. And it's just the opposite when you want to make it smaller. It goes like this, like this. And then when you want to take the slack out of your rope, you call it, call it up, slide your hand down the rope, spin it out because you have to, your, your rope is twisted. So you have to spin it the same number of times or revolutions for your coils. See how my, my coils are even? I'll call it up right here and I call it up like that. And then I just have to have, have a coil like that where, where you don't have any kinks in your rope. That's how you do that. And that's how the uh, PE was invented. At school, the cowboys were bored. You know, math and English was easy. And so they needed something to do, like they do on the ranch, because, you know, they did post holes and do hard work, chew horses and stuff like that. But then the jumping rope was the only thing they could do inside, because the teachers wouldn't let them have horses in the classrooms. And so that's how PE was invented jumping rope like that that's what they i mean you can google it makes sense yeah you can google it it may make sense but to some people to others oh i got one for you right here here's a good one i got this one this is what i just thought of but i can keep doing whoops this one you just thought of yeah just, <laughs> just, I, don't see. I just thought i might try it yeah with this one right here. I like, whoops, hey. Oh, seriously? Okay, good. You know uh, Tom Flanagan? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know Tom. Yeah. I used to sell him, bro. Brock Fleming. There's a couple of guys you don't want to get in a, uh, a uh, uh, pig match with. One of them is Brock Fleming, Tommy Flanagan, and uh, old ATN Edgeberry. Ooh. Those boys are seriously good at doing that. Those ropes are not flaming. Not flaming will be From Oklahoma? No. Uh, I don't know where he's from originally, but. Sounds good. And all of my, my little things that we crimp. It, it fell out of my cap while I was working. <laughs> that, that was work. So, yeah. And then see, sometimes when you can feel the kink in the, on the 32 foot of the rope, you gotta take the take the, the the kinks out. That's how you do it. You feel the tail, and you know where all the kinks are in a 32 foot rope. Here's you one right here. I'll do one. This one's called sitting down on the job. You ready for this one? See this one's. This is for lazy people. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah. This one right here is sitting down on the job. What you do with this one, while you're changing tires, you do this. Here's how you do this one. Like that. And then you just keep spinning it out like that, and that's how it works. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, well, that's a good one. Uh, that's kind of a lazy man's trick. I must, uh, must not be lazy, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. There's a guy that owned the Bell Ranch, and, uh, his name was Jeff Lane, yeah. and uh, and I used to do that trick for him. And Bob Morehouse at the Pitchfork, Bob Morehouse, I call that my Bob Morehouse, or my Jeff Lane sitting down on the job. Yeah. yeah. So here's one. Uh, this one right here is one where you, it's you just kind of act like you mess up and you do, and then it kind of spins right back out, and then it does like that, and it looks like a mess up. But see, here's one, you can do the same thing, except it cleans it up a little bit, and it catches over your shoulder, and then you walk it right back out like that right there, and it looks like you just caught the trick that you did. You un it's an uncatch yourself trick. So, the other one, there's another one that's a fun one, right here at Cook's Garage. Yeah. Yeah. You get it, and you just you kick it out like that, and it's just, whoa! And you step on it, and then you say, you start walking the dog. This is one that you don't have to have a, a real live dog. You just, 
just got to know how to whistle. <laughs> Whistle's all that matters. <laughs> Bang! Lay dead. Every dog lays dead, and that's how you do that. All right, let's see. Uh, I got one here. This is one. Here's one that's kind of fun. I, I should have saddled my, my daughter's trick horse, Rio. He's in the trailer. This one here is a good one. And then you just get in it, spit it out. Get bigger. They say if a rope gets hungry, you feed it. That's it's get. That's why it gets bigger. You feed it, and so then you just throw it up like this. Yeah. Like that. And then you, no birds. Let's see here. I have one where you can do two ropes. Have you seen this one? And then see, good thing we're in some real good dirt here. And then you can just full circle, because that's, you're talking about changing tires and wheels here, but everything's got to be a circle. Uh huh. All right. You gotta go rope? I got, I got, it's time. It's time. It's rodeo time, roping time. Rodeo time. Yep. Thanks for the lesson on how to rope. We're also gonna come back to you for more uh, crimping. Crimping. You just, got, you just got done uh, shoeing these fine folks horse. Slim shape. Now you're te teaching us how to, and then you're gonna go teach us how to uh, Hopefully turn them. Turn them. What'd your, what'd your, what'd your uh, crimping man say? Uh, uh, if, you're, if you're inside the box. Uh, if you're thinking outside the box, you're probably roping something. Dale, yeah. Dale, yeah. Thanks, Bryce. <laughs> Bryce Chapman. That's good.